Ready up. All right. Good job. Ready to climb some rocks? There you go. Job. Hey everybody, Captain Kai, the sea glass guy here, with my favorite companion, LC. We are just uh, hiking over to one of the best beaches in Curacao yet. Haven't even stepped foot on her yet, but already finding some really, really nice stuff just everywhere. This is probably the most jam-packed, full of uh, jewelry-grade beach on the island, so pretty sweet. Good place to be. I've never, ever, ever seen anyone else here ever in my life. So I've always got to myself, and uh, LC and I can run around naked if we want, and we do. Check that out. Another big seafoam heel right there. All kinds of glass just piled high around here. You gotta watch out for the uh, cactuses because there's some big ones all above you. And they fall down every once in a while and you can step on them or they can literally fall onto you. And man, that'd be a bad way to go. I'm looking all over the ground here. I'm seeing lots of bonfire pieces of green like this. There's lots of pirate glass as well. And then uh, I'm seeing aquas and blues even too. Really trying to find some marbles today. This is a really good spot for marbles a lot of times. Another good aqua there. See some teals on the ground. Ooh, it looks like a big blue just ahead here too. It's a sweet piece right there. Cool. See there's a big spread here, you know, it's probably about 20 feet wide this beach and it's all just jam-packed full full of amazing sea glass so pretty sweet find all kinds of good stuff and uh this isn't even actually the only section of it there's more sections you gotta watch out for stepping on these things here they'll stick stick in you pretty good they're really sharp all right got another blue there This is a good spot for snorkeling too. Ooh, I see two more blues. Here's a little bitty one next to some pirate glass. And then look over here next to this hermit crab. Got another nice, nice slice of perfectly flawless blue right there. Look at that, not one dent or ding on it. It's just frosted to the max. It's sweet. All right, let's see what else we can find around here. Having such good luck. Good place to look for UV glass as well at nighttime. That might be UV there. Could just be mint green. And uh, even a good spot to find some seashells here and there. But those thorns get really big. Some of them will go right through your foot all the way out the top. So you gotta walk a little slower than most places. Just kind of tread carefully here. Looking over here in this pile for anything good. Just sitting on top. Now, this is a good place to dig as well. Find a lot of these little green beans like those. And just perfectly smooth pieces of aqua like that. That's a jewel and a half. Good size stuff too. We're not talking mermaid tears. These are really sizable pieces of sea glass to be finding. So uh, like I said, you can kind of look around on the water here. It's a little muddy in this one spot in particular, but I bet over there we might be able to see something underwater. Some colors are actually a little easier to see when you're looking underwater. Here's LC just hanging on the beach by herself. Uh, so like reds and blues and stuff like that. Keep your eyes peeled. Sometimes, yeah, they're a lot easier to see under the surface. And you can even, even uh, snorkel here for sea glass as well, which is kind of fun because everything looks twice as big underwater. So when you find a marble, you usually think, wow, I found a shooter. And you bring it up and it's actually smaller than it. And it looks, but it's pretty fun. Good way to find stuff and stay cool at the same time. Typically where the uh, waves are rolling around, you find the most stuff, because it's always moving around. 
So new things are coming to the top, going to the bottom constantly, just mixing. It's a nice little blue there. You can see there used to be a big house here and it uh, fell off the side of the cliff or got pushed off or whatever. That's all these brick walls are. Wow, there's a lot of this really nice teal here. It's kind of the color of the ocean. Let's see if we can get some light behind that one. Hold on one sec. There we go. Lovely color there. Wow, so just a ton of sea glass today to look at. This is a really nice close up here. There's lots of sea metal as well. Oh, but you gotta watch out for those thorns. Like I said, they will get you. And they're all over the place like landmines, you can see. Real slow. And it looks like it might rain here in a minute. And that might actually be a good thing. This is the fruit that comes off the cactus there. Um, what happens when it rains, all these dry pieces of sea glass get wet and they kind of refract the color a lot better. It's easier to see them actually when they're wet. Ooh, that's another nice blue. Wow, look at that. Substantial piece right there, you guys. Nice. Kind of got a, a little bit of a cave to it here. And you can look under there and find some good pieces as well. Still got my eyes peeled for uh, possibly some more marbles or something. You can kind of kick around in here, but again, good way to get poked. Nice honey amber there. Not quite a jewel, but decent craft grade. Just peeking under here. Hoping to catch a stopper or maybe a nice piece of orange or red. Just never know where they're gonna be. Oh, and there's some big piles of stuff right here. Generally inside the big stuff is where you'll find big pieces. That's a nice little piece of turquoise there. It's like a light turquoise. And there's just hermit crabs everywhere. Go buddy, go. They get around pretty well, don't they? Kind of push these little ridges over. See if there's anything good underneath. There's a nice marble holder right there. I like that one. Always good to have something nice to keep the marbles in so they don't uh, roll away, but you can still display them, you know. Just more nice honey amber there. Really pretty color. Find some decent stuff. Nothing. Sometimes you can dig around in these piles as well. Decent pieces in there. Oh, look, I mean. Ooh, there's like little caves in here. No sea glass in there, but up the first level, you can see the waves are just throwing sea glass all up here. Just sitting here at eye level for you to pick. Pretty neat. Thanks for the sea foams, cave. Now, I'm gonna try stepping out here and just see if we can spot anything under the surface here. It might look like a marble. The water is crystal clear in Curacao all year long. 
And uh, even better, there's not really much for tides here. So you can see glass hunt all day long, every day of the year. No seasons for sea glass here either. It's always a great time. Come and look. So just kind of keep my eyes peeled right under the surface. Trying to spot some color. I mean, a lot of the more colorful marbles, like bright yellows, blues, reds, and turquoises, are super easy to spot amongst all the rocks and coral in here. I see, oh man, I think I see a marble now. Now from up here, it looks like it's a shooter. But again, everything looks bigger underwater. Let's see if you guys can see through the surface here. It looks like a green and white one. All right, I'm gonna try to get down in there without getting the phone wet. Oh, it feels like a shooter. No way, look at that one. Woohoo! Right on. That's got some colors to it. Green, yellow, and blue. That is a cool swirly marble. Right on, everybody. That is awesome. So like I said, kind of spot them through the surface. And luckily that was a bigger one. That might have been why I actually got to see it. Wow, sweet. Well, that was exactly what I was hoping to find. I think I see, it's either a rock or a marble. Ah, see, I saw the shape of the circle. I saw the sphere, but that's a rock there. That's some uh, pink limestone. I think I see a heart-shaped piece. Under here somewhere, where'd it go? It's running away from me. There it is. Nice. That is a nice shaped heart. I like it. I see some blue under the surface here and possibly a bee. Oh, don't slip away from me. Let's see if we can get them both. Oh, drop the blue, but look at that. Green bead. Looks kind of like jadeite almost. Nice one. So you don't even have to have your snorkel gear on. You can just kind of walk um, in the tide line. It only ranges here between like one and two feet of tide a day. So it never really matters when you come. And just walk around, look through the surface, see what you can spot. See some Chinese porcelain right here moving around. I wonder if it's got a cool pattern on it at all. Oh yeah. Looks like a, kind of like a flower there. Nice. Some good finds, some good finds. Hopefully you guys can see through the water as good as I can. Make sure you're watching this in uh, HD. Click on your settings and adjust so that you can see everything I see. You want to watch this in 720 or 1080 if you can. Okay, I'm not seeing too much more under the water, but ooh, there's some blue. Now, can you guys see the color from here? It really sticks out. Hey, kind of a wonky heart shape there. Cool. Nice blue. Great way to spend a cloudy, rainy day in Curacao. Show you the sky today. A little bit dismal, but hey, it's keeping me from getting sunburned. The longer I can stay out here, the better. Let's check on LC and see how she's doing. Hey LC, having a nap? What'd you find? A little bit of sea metal? Got some copper wire there? Nice. Uh oh, it's starting to rain. It's starting to rain, LC. I don't got a waterproof phone. We might have to put this away. Or better yet, maybe we could hang out one of the, under one of these cliffs right here. All right, you can see I'm underneath a little cave ridge here. Look at how many of these little harbor crabs are walking around. Those two are having a fight there, climbing over each other. Wouldn't that be fun to be able to climb on giant pieces of sea glass like that? 
I bet they're having a blast. Did you find yourself a cave? Good girl. All right, let's go for a little hike. Let's see what we can find on the other side of where we were. Left LC back there to take a little nap. And uh, while she's doing that, we'll go for a little trek. So you can see a lot of sea glass gets caught up in here as well. Right now it's kind of sanded out. And then, hey, you guys ever seen one of these before? Anybody want to guess what that is? Old lead paint. This was at the bottom of a paint can. Paint can's gone now, but the old lead paint stays behind. Find those pretty often. Sometimes you find some really cool colors, too. All mixed together. I mean, people use their can over and over again with different colors. All right, so now we're in the water. This first part, we're kind of just kind of looking through the water to see what we can find. There's a lot of ledges, you know, cliff parts that you kind of look up on there as well. Um, it's not super sunny right now. In fact, it's kind of a cloudy day out, but wow, look how flat that water is. You'd think we're on a lake or something. This is the ocean down in paradise. So normally if it's a little brighter, you can see through the surface of the water a little better. Uh, but at the moment, can't really do that. Let's see something down here. Oh, almost got it. Tide came up on me. Oh, yeah. oh another piece of lead paint there. Oh well. All right. So we we'll move on. There's a little. Uh, cove over here and then also a little cave as well a cave in the cove and hoping that we can find some good stuff over there I've actually found some really big turquoises over here before one of the biggest pieces I've ever found a turquoise actually on this beach so keep my eyes especially peeled for that color though it is most vibrant and easy to see so if it's there we're gonna find it just a little tiny beach right here. We're scooping through a little bit. Okay, nothing too crazy. A little bit of sea metal, a little bit of teal. Let's keep on moving over to this cove I'm telling you guys about. Kind of sharp coral here. Not too many sea urchins on this side. Hope I don't jinx myself on that. But the rocks are pretty sharp. So you gotta be super careful. You can see the sides of these cliffs are razor sharp pieces. You can really easily cut your hands up. So you gotta be careful, just kinda moving slow is the name of the game at this particular beach. The waves aren't up at all today, it's super nice. So oop, as long as I don't fall in, we'll do all right, I think. I'll show you a better view of this cove I'm talking to you about as we're walking into it. Pretty, right? See lots of old sea bricks around here. You never know what to find. That's the fun part about it. It's just kind of scanning the surface here. You see there's lots and lots of thorns here as well. Even like entire cactuses. You can probably take that home and plant it right there. Still got the roots and everything. I'm going to keep going around here. And back into this little cave that I want to show you all. See if there's anything in there. But also right here under the water, this is a good spot. I see a blue of some sort. Yeah, check that out. That's a decent sized cobalt. Just sitting there under the surface. I see what looks like maybe some corn flour down here. Did I miss it? Oh, maybe it's just a rock. Tricked me. All right, here's the cave. Let's have that a look real quick. Hey, little cave. Got anything cool today? Hmm. 
see there's some little stuff on the surface here. Nothing too special. Sometimes this cave is completely full of sea glass. You can kind of just ruffle through it, but uh, yeah, not much in there today. It kind of depends on which way the current's going. Push this stuff up on the different beaches and, you know, all next to each other. Never moves too far, the sea glass, but it does pick its little spots differently every day, it seems. It's kind of nice. It's always moving around. Nice little ledge under here with a good pile under it. Just kind of keep my eyes peeled as it moves around. See if anything catches my eye. Nothing too crazy. And then uh, I think lastly we can go back here. Ooh, it's starting to rain on me again. Hoping walking all the way over here is worth it. See it's super sharp. And then as soon as you get under the water, it's super kind of like slick and slippery. And it gets uh, worn by the wind up top and by the waves on the bottom. And the waves are much better at sanding stuff down than the wind is. Huh. Okay. So, nothing really good in here today. Was hoping to find something, but uh, oh well. Always worth looking. Well, sometimes you don't find them. That's just part of the job. What about up in here? Some little blues on the surface. Cornflower, a little cobalt, nothing too crazy. Oh well, it was worth a peek. Right, so let's get started on the sea glass hunt. What I typically do is uh, instead of picking one piece at a time and trying to figure out which pile it goes into, I try to pick one sort of glass at a time and try to pull that all out of the pile. And uh, that makes it a little bit quicker. That way I'm pulling everything at once. It's maybe, let's say, sea metal. If I start with that, I take sea metal and I just say, okay, there's a lot of that over on this side, I see. And when I pull my stuff out of the bags, I kind of try to do a quick sort. I was still got my sea metal started here. And then, uh, okay, we got things with numbers or letters on them, so I'll put that over there. Let's see, we got bonfire here, so let's grab some more bonfire. Bam, 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 bonfire. I see a bottle mouth here, and another bottle mouth here, so I'll put these up here. Bottle mouth, bottle mouth, bottle mouth, and uh, I'm starting to see some pirate glass. Now, pirate glass and sea foam is what I pick up the most. So you see down here, I got a couple tubs for those. So if I want to go for pirate glass, I'll just start. Grab as much as I can, and I'm bringing it down to one of these tubs down here. What I used to do is pick one piece at a time. All right, blue goes here, purple goes here, yellow goes here. But then it takes pretty much as long to sort as it does to pick. So now what I do is kind of just pick one thing at a time and just go for that for a second. So I see insulators here. Let's pick up all the insulators we can. See some more over there. And then as I'm going, if I see more stuff like the sea metal, I'll just put it on this pile here. I see a really nice piece of UV as well. That's really cool. So maybe I'll make a UV pile as well. See, there's definitely some UV pieces over on this side. Now you gotta kind of check at nighttime to make sure they are UV, because a lot of times mint green looks pretty similar. And then after a little bit, I'll push my pile up and I'll start doing uh, things that are easier to see, like candlestick top here. That's pretty cool. I'm going to put that within my stoppers, my toppers, and then any wine stems or anything like that. And then, dang, look at that big, big marble there. That's a super cool one. Nice shooter. So I have a marble pile over here too. So. Um, that looks more like a piece of an old stopper. You see it's got a line down the middle. Not so much a marble, so put that with the stoppers here. And then there's another piece with a word on it, hero. So we'll put that with the numbers and letters pile. Toss some more insulators over here. And uh, maybe we'll start a patterned piece 
pile, although this one looks like it might be UV. So I'm going to put it with the UVs for now, and I'll check those later. I see some pink here, so I'm going to grab a little bit of that. And then there's always lots of bowls pottery as well, so it's good to start one of those piles. Um, I pick up a lot of tiles and pottery as well, so it's probably good to start a pile for one of them. And I just keep pushing stuff up the table as I go. Most of the sea glass I pick up is really, really thick stuff, so it generally... Um, it's not going to break with me pushing it around. It's been in the ocean a long time. There's a really cool red, white, and blue heart there. Uh, so anything that's like really cool that I'll put in my treasure chest, like something extra special, I'll put to the side, probably over by the marbles. So that way I know it's special stuff over here. Uh, this is about two weeks worth of stuff that I found. I like to pick up these old pieces of uh, backsplash as well. They're really cool for doing art on. You can put sea glass onto them, like glued on and do little designs and stuff, so that's always fun. I put that with the pottery pile here. Little seashells are always nice to pick up. You're not allowed to leave them, uh, take them out of the country, but set them to the side and just have them for nice decoration while I'm here in my house or on the boat. See some more sea metal there, but then also a couple pieces of this patterned honey amber. So we'll have a patterned section, maybe a uh, back here behind the UV. Cool, so more tiles and stuff. And then, uh, like I said, I pick up a lot of sea foam. It's pretty much my favorite color to pick up, especially the nice jewel-shaped ones. So I can just grab a bunch of that. A lot of this is from old Coca-Cola bottles and stuff like that. And check it out. Pretty easy to just pick a handful at once. But if I pick these one at a time to put them in the basket, it takes a lot longer. But good spot there. And of course, Elsie's down here watching. Help me out. Got a little sand in her eyes from the beach earlier, but I think she likes it. Nice piece of honey amber there as well, but this isn't a pattern one. This looks like some kind of crystal, so I'll have a little honey amber pile there. Uh, sometimes I pick up little bottles. These are fun for maybe putting some flamingo feathers in or something like that, you know, and just sitting on the mantle. Pretty cool. Nice little gifts to give away as well. So I'll set that to the side with my seashell. All right, these bottle mouths, sometimes pieces get stuck in them, so got to check. Put that bottle mouth over there, and uh, maybe we'll start an aqua pile as well. That's a really nice, worn piece of uh, bonfire aqua. I wonder what that originally was. So maybe we'll have a pile for that up there. Now, you can see I'm kind of running out of space here. Sometimes I use a bigger table, but uh, to get the best camera picture I could, I had to get a little bit closer up. Now, this kind of looks like a piece of a stopper or something. You can see a really neat pattern. So I'm going to put that with the stoppers, toppers, and wine stems. And this looks like maybe an old wine jug handle, a white one. So I'm going to put that with the stoppers and toppers, too. I'm going to grab the UV light just to see if we could possibly see some of these, even in the light. Yeah, check it out. You can really see they are glowing, even in the daylight. Pretty cool. Love collecting UV. Go at nighttime sometimes to look. And you can see I thought this was a UV, but it's not. It's not glowing at all. Um, so I'm going to put this with the pattern pieces. See another pattern piece here. That's cool. That looks almost like a little sailboat. Like that. Right on. So, get some more of these pink. I see a Clorox here, so maybe I'll set this uh, with the ones with words over here. Cool. And then I'm going to grab a bunch of the powder off the top just to make some more room. Oh, but I saw this one too. This is cool. It's an old toothpaste top, so I can definitely go with the sea metal. Alright, so grabbing a bunch of powdery so that we can keep pushing everything back to make room for some more piles. Wow, I see some nice little pieces there. There's a uh, marble, obviously, and then a stopper piece as well. So we'll put those here. Cool. Keep grabbing some more of that tile to make some more room. Anytime I see a marble, I just kind of stop and pick it up. It's always nice to stop and admire a nice marble like that one. Another one that has some orange to it. Look, that's the back of an old stopwatch there. I wonder if it says what type of metal. I don't see any markings or anything, but that's definitely some good sea metal right there. But once you get your piles established, it makes it a lot easier to start putting stuff into each different spot. I see a little piece of coral here with a hole in it. A lot of people think of these as hagstones, but uh, actually this is old coral right there. And you're not allowed to take this off the island either, so I'll put it with my seashell over there. Now if I find the Chinese porcelain, 
I separate that out a little bit from the other tiles. So I'll put that maybe over here by the bottom mounts. Uh, some of the colors that are harder to tell the difference to is like green and teal, like these ones here. These are both an off teal color. Let's set those over there. And then I also kind of sort blues together as well. Now, um, some of the blues have words on them, but I just kind of put all the blues together. So let's go through here and just kind of pick a few of them so we can get a pile started. Now, I don't differentiate between cobalt blues and core flower blues when I start my piles. But later, when I sort again, this is kind of my pre-sort, I do. So we've got a little blue pile going on there now. And I uh, see some more Clorox pieces we'll put over here with the other pieces with words. All right, cool. Another couple marbles right there on the top. Nice ones. And then, uh, ooh, some powdered turquoise there too. That's cool. Lots and lots of bonfire. That's a beautiful big blue one right there. Kind of dirty still, but that's all right. And of course, my initial. Put that with the bowls powder. Now, I see a lot of pink over here on this side. I'm gonna grab a bunch of that up. Keep putting that in the pink pile. Most of the pinks that I find are patterns, so I kind of keep most of the pinks, pinks together. All right. Bottle mouths, and then also pieces of bottle mouths are called lips. So here is a set of green lips right there. And I'm gonna put those separate from the bottom mouth. So we'll make a lip pile right here. There's another nice bottom mouth. These little white ones are great for holding marbles. Keep that one over there. As you can see, there's a lot to sort from. That's a cool little lavender stopper there. A lot, a lot of cool stuff. Now sometimes you get a combination of something. You gotta pick which pile to put it in. For example, this little happy face here is an old bottleneck with a bottle mouth, so it should go in the bottle mouth pile, but it's also a bonfire, as you can see. Really nice bonfire pattern to it. So we're gonna put this, I think, with the bonfires. I like the sea metals because they always look like different little things. Some of them actually look like uh, I don't know, little figurines or something. They're not, but some of them have like a shape of animals or I don't know, one kind of looked like a dinosaur that I found. So those are always fun. Here's a cool aqua piece. It says 200 on it. When I picked it up on the beach, I thought, thought it said zoo, which would have also been really cool. Some more pinks here to put with the pile. And that's a nice little pink there. Look, it's got the shape of almost like a little fruit or something like that pink peach. That's nice. I'm going to put this with like my specials. I'll put that over by the marbles and by that uh, red, white, and blue heart. Great. So I see some more lips on the surface here. There's some white ones right there. So we'll put those with our lip pile just so it's a little bit more established here. That way we don't forget what pile it is. Some more tiles there. I like these pink speckles a lot. They're really cool. And some more of this Chinese porcelain as well. Sometimes it's nice just to sort through and pull all your marbles first because, I don't know, those are the most fun. And there's a nice yellow swirly and then a good little red, white, and blue cat eye as well. And then of course we need a pile for beads, like little red and orange beads like this one. We'll put next to the marbles. And then uh, one for flash glass. You can see how this glass has a few different colors to it. That white on the back kind of reflects the colors in the front. It makes it so they don't have to do full color. They can have some clear glass in there. Wow, look at that piece of flash glass. That's really cool. Red and orange and clear. Cool. So you just do this for a while until eventually it's all sorted into different piles. And as you go, you find other things you need piles for. Like, oh, there's a gray there. So I can push everything back a little bit. I found a kick up right there, so we're gonna need a kick up pile as well. Um, and then, like I said, it's nice once you got your piles kind of established to just kind of pick one thing to go for and try to get as much of it out of the pile as you can. For example, right now, let's say we want to go for sea foam, but I can kind of get both hands going on here and just start pulling all the sea foam I see. And this is gonna result in a much quicker sorting process. Because there, I got a big handful, and I put it in my bucket down there by Elsie. You're good to go again.
Maybe we'll go for pirate glass this time, right? Just grabbing all those really dark pieces. You know, they're easier to see if you're kind of just thinking of one thing at once. So that's what I'm doing. Get a big old pile of the pirate glass. Maybe with that iron oxide, we're gonna put that in the tub for pirate glass. And then I can push this back a little more. It makes some more room. Another cool stopper, topper, or wine piece there. Kind of hard to tell sometimes. Really nice honey amber on that one, and then a super dark black on the other. I'm gonna do a little sea foam. I mean, uh, sorry, sea metal grab, since I see a lot of that on the surface. And I also find lots of coins on the beach too, so I usually put that with the sea metal. And of course, we get some leaves mixed in there. All the natural. Lots and lots to sort through, and it's always nice to go through and see all your pieces again. See, that is one of the biggest, nicest pinks I've ever, ever found. That's a really, really good one. Set that with the specials for sure. Ooh, and then there's some patterned green, a little piece of an old silver spoon there. That can go with sea metal. I think this uh, little Pepsi keychain there. Thought that was pretty neat. Uh, that could go with the specials as well. So you see lots, lots of beautiful, beautiful sea glass to sort through. And this is one of the more fun parts. You don't have to just sort at the same time. You can watch some TV or listen to a nice podcast or even, hey, watch some board power YouTube. So if you like this, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and we'll do some more sorts for you guys soon. I'll uh, add some pictures of what my sorts look like when the piles are all done as well to this video. But thank you for watching. Me and Elsie are going to get back to the beach, add some more to the pile, that way we can keep on sorting. It's too nice outside right now to be doing this, so we're going to uh, come back and do this at nighttime. Thanks for watching, guys.